My name is Nick DePiro, and in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I've been using the Live Logic pedal from Blackstar to control the St. James plugin from Blackstar, actually the standalone version. And uh, it's actually really cool because you get your whole rig controlled by this pedal. So you can bring in effects, you can switch amp tones, you can switch between the amps, uh, pretty much anything you can imagine parameter wise, you can control with this pedal. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what's in this plugin if you don't already know. Um, we got the St. James EL34 which is kind of like your clean overdrive style tones. We got the 6L6, which is more the high gain kind of metal sound. And then we got a pre effect section, which has compressor, drive, chorus, and phaser pedals. We got the cab rig, which has different mic options to switch from and different cabs as well. And you can combine both sides here and kind of get crazy with your sounds. We got a post effects. We got the flanger, tremolo, delay, and reverb sounds. And then we got an EQ section. And so all of these things can be controlled and manipulated with the pedal, depending on what you assign to each uh, button here. So any MIDI controller will work, but if you have this one, it works seamlessly. I'll show you guys how to set it up right now. So up here, there's this MIDI icon. You click that, go to the MIDI map, and then these are where you can add in different uh, assignments to the buttons and stuff like that. So this plus sign, you click that, you got the drop down menus, click the arrow, and then parameters. This will be kind of more like you know, if you want to bring in, or if you want to enable your amp or disable your amp, if you want to enable different sections of the plugin, um, you know, there's all kinds of things you could do in here. And then in presets, you can switch between different presets. You can, you know, build your own presets and then assign them to different buttons. That's kind of what I've done here. Or you can switch between the stock ones that come with the plugin. And then under miscellaneous, you can do different things like uh, assign a tuner. You can assign a tap tempo, um, which I will do both of these things here. But first, let's go ahead and get the amps set up. So we're going to go to presets, user. And I'm going to go to my clean, no effects setting here. And then message type, I'm going to do program change, channel number one. And then for the number here, so on the pedal, there's one, two, three, four buttons on the front. And the way this will work is actually you hit zero, and that'll act as number one. So now if I hit one here, I get my clean tone. And yeah, so we want to get more than that. So we got the clean here. Let's go ahead and add our distortion as well. So once again, hit that plus sign. It drops down another layer here. We'll go to presets, user, dist, no effects, program change, still on channel one for all of this. And now we're gonna hit one. And so the one is actually gonna be the two. So yeah, we got those set up. Let's go ahead. I wanna use a delay as well. So the way I have this right now is both of these presets, um, and you can see everything change when I hit them. Both of these presets don't have the post effects section enabled and I want them to. So if I go to here, anything that's on in here is going to come through when I hit, when I assign the button to uh, bring it in. So it's kind of like a scene change almost. So if you are familiar with that, you can essentially hit one button and a bunch of stuff happens. So in this context, I'm going to use delay and reverb and I want that to come through when I hit that button. So let's go ahead and assign. We'll go back to the MIDI map. Let's go ahead and assign a button to do that. So the plus sign, I'm going to bring in, I'm going to go to parameters this time. I'm going to go to global, post effects enabled, and then program change again, channel one, and then PC change, let's do number two now. So now we're on button three, and that's going to bring in the delay. <laughs> And then while we're here, let's also add in a tap tempo. So we'll go ahead and hit plus again. We'll go to miscellaneous, tap tempo, program change one, and then three. And so now with this pedal down here, we have one, two, three, and four all set up with something. If we wanna go beyond that, then we wanna hit the bank up, which is number six, and that'll get you a whole new row of 
another series of four four buttons you can assign. So let's go ahead and close this real quick. So now we got tap tempo enabled on button four. So that works for basically just bringing in any effect here. So let's say I want to bring in tremolo and flanger as well. So if I hit three, all that goes away. If I hit three again. and it brings in all the effects, which is really cool. I mean, this makes it so simple. You don't need a bunch of pedals. You don't need anything other than that pedal setup to do this. And uh, it's just connected through USB as well. So really, really simple setup there. Um, let's go ahead and bring in, let's get a tuner on here too. So we're gonna add another layer here. Go to miscellaneous um, tuner, program change. And for this one, also channel one and number four. And so, to get to this, we're going to hit the bank up on the live logic pedal, hit number one, and now we have the tuner. And uh, to turn that off, just hit it again. And now we're back. All right, cool. So that's pretty much going to be it. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful for anyone using this setup. And again, if you don't have the live logic pedal, there's other ways to dial in a MIDI controller as well to do similar things here. So feel free to mess around with that. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you on another video. Goodbye.